Before the start of the film, we see a kid named Michel Salenzi, cycling to his school in Trieste, Italy. He has a 50 euro note, with which he intends to purchase an ensemble for a party. At school, he sits behind his long-lasting crush, Stella. Their class is interfered with by a cop named Giovanna, who likewise is Michel's mom. She is there to ask about an understudy's vanishing. Giovanna demands the class to illuminate the police on the off chance that they hear from the missing understudy. After she leaves, Michael's nose begins to drain, so he races to the washroom. His domineering jerks, who have been upsetting him for quite a while, compromise him into giving them, generally, his cash. He returns home, dampened by the occurrence. He draws out a couple of pennies he had saved and chooses to get one with the cash. Michel then, at that point, visits a corroded-looking store and requests a hero, Ensemble. The retailer gives him a skin tie generally in a junkie cave. He guarantees that it is the suit of a Chinese superhuman. At any rate, Michael doesn't appear to be partial to the outfit however gets it. At the point when Giovanna gets back after working all day, she sees Michelle and his ensemble declining to show up for the party, since he assumes he looks dumb. She consoles him that he looks great and sends him to the party. There Michelle has fun and even discussions to his crush Stella. However at that point, his harassers play a video of Stella strolling through the road. They guarantee that the video was viewed as on Michel's telephone, and that he has been following Stella. A humiliated Michel hurries to the washroom and secures himself. Each of his colleagues beat on the entryway from outside, requesting that he open it. Michel is disappointed and wishes that he was undetectable, just before the lights go out. In the accompanying scene, we see him leap out of the restroom window and return home. The following morning, Michel awakens to his canine yelping at him. He doesn't give him much consideration and goes to the restroom to clean his teeth. At the point when he investigates the mirror, Michel is past stunned to see, simply his robe and the brush. His body is imperceptible in the mirror. Michel surges out and takes his robe off. All at once, his mom strolls in and totally overlooks the kid, demonstrating that main Michael can see himself. At the point when she begins glancing around, Michel rapidly composes that he has gone to class from the beginning of paper and puts it on the bed. Giovanna understands it and excuses the matter. In the wake of leaving the room, she calls Michel on his telephone. An imperceptible Michel gets it and tells her that he is fine. Confounded about what he ought to do straight away, he spruces up in lengthy sleeved garments. In the wake of covering all aspects of his body, he goes to class and watches Stella from a remote place. Michel, then at that point, sees his domineering jerk and plans to show him a thing or two for upsetting him to such an extent. He takes his garments off and strolls inside the school stripped and imperceptible. During class, he hits the domineering jerk's paintball weapon and utilizations it on the educator, making the instructor suspend the harasser. Then, at that point, Michael advances toward the young lady's changing room and watches them strip down. Out of nowhere, a towel lands on him, making his outline obvious to everybody. Right then, at that point, his powers begin to blur, making him noticeable once more. The young ladies shout as they see a strip Michel under the towel. The following day, Michel is in his group, where a clinician named Basili is giving a talk about youngsters' emotional well-being. Two of Michel's cohorts have taken off from home in the previous month, so he thinks it is important to figure out youngsters' perspective. As Michel stands by listening to the talk, his hands begin to shine and out of nowhere, they vanish. Fortunately, the class is finished, and he runs out before anybody can see him vanish. He searches home, covering all pieces of his body, and sees his younger sibling Candela in his room. Michael requests that she go down the stairs while confronting the wall. A dubious Candela opens and shuts the entryway to cause it to seem like she has left. Michael doesn't pivot to check and begins to take his garments off. At the point when he pivots, Candela shouts in dread, it is imperceptible to see her sibling. Michael quiets her down and tells her that his outfit has given him superpowers. In the meantime, at the police headquarters, the specialist Basili works with Giovanna to explore the missing kids. Giovanna demands that the youngsters may be grabbed, however Basili contends they are simply being defiant, which is typical for their age. At the point when Giovanna gets back, Michel is as yet undetectable. Giovanna converses with somebody on the telephone. It is taken on to uncover that Michelle, a shocked and hurt Michelle, leaves the house to a close-by swing. While he is swinging, Stella shows up there and thinks Michelle is a phantom. She doesn't appear to be frightened, and rather requests that he be her companion. He makes a grinning face on the sand to speak with her. The two choose to meet once more. 
After Stella leaves, Michael sees a man close by gazing at him, despite the fact that he is imperceptible. The man leaves, utilizing a stick, it is ignorant concerning uncover that he. Around evening time, Michael visits Stella's home. Stella is more than happy to have made an imperceptible companion. The two kiss however, right then, at that point, Michael's powers begin to blur. He takes off before Stella can see his face. Afterward, Stella is in her gymnastic class alone, when a needle strikes her back. It makes her drop, oblivious. Somewhere else, Michael has chosen to educate Stella concerning him being the undetectable kid. He advances toward her gymnastic class with his canine. At the point when he arrives at the structure, he sees a covered man conveying Stella. Meshul assaults the man and the canine nibbles his hand. Be that as it may, the man figures out how to escape with the young lady. Afterward, the police show up at the scene. They figure that the missing youngsters, weren't taking off however, have been grabbed. Stella awakens in a bizarre office with her. They could beeline for a few wires. The specialist basically is there examining her. It ends up that he is the person who has been capturing the kids. They run a few tests on the young lady and send her to a cell. Two of her companions who had disappeared before her are there as well. The next day, Michael is separated from everyone else at a close by Oceanside, when out of nowhere, the visually impaired man from the earlier days shows up before him. All the man addresses Michael's inquiries before he can ask them. Maybe he can understand minds. At the point when Michael asks him what his identity is, that's what the man uncovers, he is Andrej, and he is Michel's dad. The kid doesn't trust Andrej and denounces him of lying. Andrej then, at that point, starts to recount his story. He used to be an ordinary man from a humble community in Russia, until a staggering atomic blast hit the town. The radiation killed a many individuals, and rolled out a super durable improvement in others. It made their DNA change, giving them novel, godlike capacities like flying, clairvoyance, being undetectable, etc. These individuals were called the specials and were brought to a tactical camp called the division to be utilized as weapons. The division utilized them past their ability. The more power the specials utilized, the more vulnerable they got. Another secondary effect was that everybody was fruitless, aside from Andrige and Michel's mom. In this way, it was difficult to raise new specials. The two brought forth Michelle, who was the first unique youngster. However, when he was conceived, they removed him. Thus, the Guardians chose to take off with Michelle and were fruitful. However, individuals from the division weren't going to withdraw. They saw after the couple to bring the kid back. Michael's dad had the ability to peruse individuals' brains, while his mom had the ability to be imperceptible. Andreji figured out how to take off with Michelle, yet his better half was killed by the division. Andreji realized Michelle wasn't protected with him, so he put him before Govana's entryway subsequent to guessing what she might be thinking and affirming she was a decent individual. Presently, individuals of the division have figured out that the exceptional youngster lives in the town. So they are grabbing youngsters and testing them to check whether they are unique. Subsequent to paying attention to his actual beginning, Michael is stunned. He nearly doesn't trust it, however Andreji says that they do, not have a lot of opportunity to talk in light of the fact that the angler next to them thinks Andreji is dubious and has called the police. Andreji hands Michiel a suit that turns undetectable alongside his body. He then eliminates the angler's memory and leaves. The police show up presently alongside Basili. Giovanna uncovers to him that Michel is taken on, which causes Basili to accept that he may be the unique youngster. He offers to bring Michel back home. At the point when they arrive at home, Michael sees Basili's hand injury, which is at the specific spot his canine had chopped Stella's ruffian. He takes a gander at the man dubiously and has a go at taking off. Incidentally, Basili has locked every one of the entryways and is intending to steal him. Michel runs into a room and removes his garments, turning undetectable. He figures out how to escape while Basili follows him. At the point when they are in the city, Michael sees his domineering jerk Ivan on his bicycle. He sits behind him and requests that he drive away rapidly. An anxious Ivan obliges. At the point when they arrive at a protected region, Michael uncovers himself to Ivan and tells him about their cohorts snatching. In the meantime, Stella and her companions see ventilation on the roof. They hop on one another, and Stella figures out how to step outside. While stowing away from watches, she climbs a pinnacle and arrives at a looking through light. Accepting that her undetectable companion is searching for her, she makes a grinning face on the light and glimmers it up to the sky. Michel sees the grinning face and understands that Stella is attempting to allude to them. He'd even follow the light. However, when they arrive, 
Stella is gotten by the gatekeepers. Ivan causes an electric glitch utilizing his paintball weapon as an imperceptible muscle heads inside. He sees Basili and his men checking Giovanna and Andreji, who have held hands to search for Michio. He then, at that point, goes further in and takes out a gatekeeper. Utilizing his weapon, he undermines the other gatekeeper to open the cell where Stella and the others are caught. Subsequent to getting them out and catching the watches inside, Michael uncovers himself to his companions, who are past astounded. The young men need to take off, however Stella demands they save an elderly person who she had seen locked in another room. She and Michelle go to save the man in any case, Stella takes him to the bad guys all things being equal, and focuses a firearm at Michelle. She out of nowhere falls oblivious, and the elderly person behind her beginnings talking. It just so happens, he has the force of brain control. He has been controlling Basili and Stella to get Michelle here. He then, at that point, cuts down a submarine and places Michelle and Stella in it. The men bring the two into the ocean. All at once, Andreji and Giovanna show up at the spot and meet Ivan. The structure has been set to detonate shortly. They rapidly save the two kidnapped kids and Basili from inside. Andreji guesses what Basili might be thinking and understands that somebody was controlling him. They rapidly get away from the structure, which detonates in pieces just later. Back in the submarine, Michael finds his supernatural power and starts destroying the spot. Utilizing his powers, he figures out how to kill the men and save himself and Stella. They at last return to the shore, where many individuals are sitting tight for them. Michael goes imperceptible before them, displaying his power. Andreji lets Michael know that they should eliminate everybody's recollections on the grounds that the division will come searching for them in the future. Michael obliges and kisses Stella once and for all. Andreji tells Michelle he will be back and leaves in the wake of eradicating everybody's recollections. Everybody then, at that point, gets back to their ordinary life. The scene slices to someplace in Russia. Michelle's mom, who was believed to be dead, was just injured in the experience. She had crushed the division in those days and is presently mad Managing it. As a matter of fact, she was the person who sent those individuals to return Mashiel once again to her. The lady is currently against all the typical individuals who view at them as though they are monstrosities. Finally, a watch illuminates her that in spite of the fact that they lost Mashiel, they have tracked down his twin sister Natasha. A clasp of the previous shows us that Andreji took off with two kids that day. The film closes as the watchman lets Michelle's mom know that Natasha is someplace in Morocco, implying towards a spin-off.